In this video, we're going to take a look at a few of the resources available on Ruby on Rails out there on the internet. Let's jump to the browser real quick here. The first site that you should start at, of course, is the rubyonrails.org website. And this is where everybody, by and large, gets started. There's tons of resources out here available for you to take a look at. All of these links I'll include in a document in the working files that you'll be able to access via the CDs that you get or from the downloads. There's other screencasts available from rubyonrails.org I encourage you to take a look at. This is where you can download Ruby, Rails, Ruby Gems, kind of set you up how to make an application. Lots of good information here. Documentation, API, some known books, and we'll get to the books in, in a second here. Some interesting manuals, how-tos, some good information there. A running weblog, I encourage you to keep up on the weblog. It's good information in there. This is from the developers, the core developers post into here. The community, you have a number of things in the community. There's a mailing list that's quite active. It's very active, as a matter of fact. Lots of good information in there. You can go in there and take a look at it. The wiki posted as part of Ruby on Rails. There's lots of good information in here. There's tutorials. There's a super good how-to on, on just about any aspect that you have a question of is going to be in here. Another resource I encourage you to take a look at is the Ruby on Rails IRC. It'll join up here in a second. And there we have a IRC. There's not real active conversation at the second, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Some of the books that were mentioned in here, right down here, if we look, these are from the Pragmatic Programmers. And these are just a few of the books available out here. This is from Manning. That's a good book. I just forgot that one recently. Safari, or O'Reilly on Safari, has a number of books. And an interesting phenomena that's happened with Ruby on Rails, though it's not exclusive to that, is the concept of beta books. And the Pragmatic Programmers, they're located here, www.pragmaticprogrammer.com. They've kind of pioneered the beta book, where you can actually go in, I think this is a beta book here, and purchase the current version of the book, and you can download whatever the the current version of the book in development so it's not been printed yet you get it as the the author it's writing it and then at the end you get the final version of it and I've purchased a number of books that way and it's pretty nice because you get early access to the information that's in these books there's a couple of books I'd like to point out that they have the first and the most famous one is the pickaxe book which is programming Ruby itself and you'll see it's called pickaxe because there's a big pickaxe getting out of Ruby that's hidden in here. This is the second edition. The first edition is actually free online. If you search around, you can find that. And I will put the link to the free version in the document that goes along with the working files here. Another one that recently came out is Rails Recipes. And this is just a book of different types of recipes using Ruby on Rails, and we're not talking cooking recipes, we're just talking about doing different things inside of Rails using the different tools inside of Rails. And it's a very powerful way to get your skills up to speed. Of course, the book that got most people going with Rails is Agile Web Development with Rails, and this is an excellent book that gets you up and running, talking about installation, all those things. I couldn't recommend it more. And always be looking at that because they have lots of books coming up and running in there. This book, Ruby for Rails, actually delves into how you use Ruby inside of Rails. Again, it's an excellent book with lots of good information of how Ruby actually makes Rails work. In other words, you'll find how Rails really depends on a lot of aspects of Ruby and how powerful Ruby is and it'll really improve your Ruby chops by having this book and, and taking a look at it. Let's take a look at our chat. Here we have our chat has come up here and we have a number of conversations going on and these people are always able to help you out. Well, they might not have the best answer but they'll, they'll be willing to help you out if you're persistent enough with a question. So I go ahead and encourage you to make use of the resources. As I said, the links will be included in a 
file in the working files so you can take a look at these things and get the books. They're very good and help you get up to speed.